In this video, I'm going to take Saitama from One Punch Man, punch my way through my 3D modeling process to create a more realistic version of him. If you want to see what that looks like, stay tuned. For that, I actually want to use a new program that I've never used before, which is Character Creator 4. The way this works is basically like any other character creator in any game, but a little bit more tailored to the 3D artist. If you don't now, just grab this and you load it up. This is of course just the base and we can change all of these settings. So you can see we have quite a lot here. And then if we go into one of these, you can see we even have smaller ones. Um, what I want to do first probably is I want to go into the head and then I want to go and customize the body. The eyes, you know, are fairly round. So this of course immediately kind of gives it a slightly different shape. You can also see the definition underneath look changed a little bit. We can also go into negative values if you want to. So we can go to like 100. Um, which looks pretty cool actually, which works quite well. All the shapes in the face are quite simple in uh, in anime usually, so you have quite a lot of room for improvisation. Now ah, that already brings it quite close. For the mouth, oftentimes anime characters don't really have lips. There are different styles of course, but at least he doesn't have any lips. At least not any colored lips, I guess. <laughs> so uh, that kind of tells me that they're quite narrow or quite uh, quite slim the jaw now we can kind of get into the actual interesting part about his face look at that that it already looks way rounder you can see it already looks like an egg <laughs> the skull height first of all we can change we can give him mega mind we can make him mega mind if we wanted to okay <laughs> the eyes oh slacker let's see what that looks like oh hold on i mean it looks pretty good but it doesn't really look that realistic, so I don't want to use those. I think I want to go with the darkest um, irises that I find here. You can see the muscles, but they're not necessarily, um, I guess, the model. That is because there are like uh, maps that fake the muscles. So what I want to do is I want to transfer what you can see here over to the actual model. I'm not going to see the muscles in the end. I'm trying to uh, make sure that the clothing, when it kind of drapes over the body, that it actually looks the way that it's supposed to. For video games, for example, you would use these normal maps to kind of imitate the detail that you would have. But of course, that's not necessarily the case here. So I can just, you know, add more resolution and add those details into the actual model to actually change the shape, make it look more realistic. Let's go to the clothing. So the way this works is pretty simple. Uh, you just have your person in here. We can now just add some sort of fabric. There you go. And then if we press spacebar, this is what happens. Ooh. We can then also say that they're supposed to uh, be sewn together. There you go, one and one. Which means now if I hit spacebar, they're being pulled together because they are being sewn together. And um, this is now how we're going to create the piece of clothing. So the main part of the outfit is done. The cape is actually like swinging over, which looks pretty cool. The thing that's missing, of course, are the gloves and the boots, which is what I'm going to add now. Um, the way I'm going to do this is fairly simple. I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to go to the model that we already have. Because what we can do, basically, is we can go and select everything that we have here until we reach the point where the gloves should basically end. Uh, Control D to duplicate. Control P to separate. And then we have a duplicate of the hand. Of course, it's not gonna look, it's not looking perfect right now because I need to still add some wrinkles and all that stuff, but that's sort of what I'm gonna do now. What I wanna use is the inflate function and just push it outwards. Bring it as close as possible to the glove and then we can push it all in there. So we can even use this fold as if the glove created it. Give it a little bit more detail here by adding some creases for there should be some just kind of suggest that it's kind of folding into each other because of the movement the boots shouldn't be too hard either i'm going to start here i'm going to create a plane and i'm just going to build it on top on the surface of the foot so building it around the foot basically this boot has the folds now, perfect. And then we can go in here and we can basically add the sole as well. Somehow I'm gonna fill this up and I can duplicate this again. Perfect, add it there. And we have a little heel. The only thing that is missing is the materials. As you can see here, of course, the, the body itself is done. But you can see he's wearing his uh, his skin as his gloves. 
So that's something I need to adjust. Then I will create the final scene, which you're going to see in three, two, one. I think it turned out pretty good. There might be one or two things that I would want to change, but overall I'm quite happy with it. What do you think? Feel free to put it in the comments. Also, if you have any ideas what else I could realistify, I guess, I'm always open for suggestions. If you like this video, these two videos might be interesting to you as well. Thank you for watching. Maybe I'll see you next time. See ya. Thank you.